All right, everyone, welcome back to here. Right, today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the sheath for your Bowie knife. So, what you're going to need for this is some three millimeter thick vegetable tan leather. You can get that from eBay. It costs you about a tenner to do this knife. You can buy bigger bits, smaller bits, um, but yeah, three mil. I've got a 12 inch by 12 inch. You're only actually going to use half of that. Um, if you get a bigger piece of leather, you can do like a a belt loop that's attached as part of it. Rather, I'm going to have to stitch my belt loop on and my um, clasp <clears throat> just because of how much the leather cost. It was cheaper to buy a small bit and add that on. So I've got an extra bit of 2mm uh, leather there. You can just use the leather with your thing. The designs for the... See, if you can even just draw yourself, just look at what I've got and do it yourself. Or I can put these onto a piece of A4 paper, scan them, and put them on my blog if you want. You may also need the way I'm going to do it, it's going to need a metal ring. Uh, yeah, so oh, and then you're also going to need some glue, some tools like scissors. Um, you may need a couple of level working tools, possibly a drill or an awl and a hammer and a needle and thread. You want a big needle. So yeah, first thing I'll start doing is we'll cut out the leather. You may also want to get some dye for your leather or get some pre-dyed leather. The pre-coloured leather though is double the price. So might be better off like I do get vegetable tan and then just dye it yourself my dye is coming in a couple of days so this finished project will be bare um, leather but done at a later date <clears throat> but you'll see the basic um, sheath so let's get cutting it out right so these are the parts you need you need your two sides make sure you get a left and a right and the outside edges here here are the bits that go in between and then this bit will be for the ring to go inside and the clasp and that will be sewed on to one side at the back so yeah just cut it out I'll use scissors you can use whatever you got For this small glass bit, I'm going to punch a hole here and here using one of these um, little hole punches. It just makes a little bit of a neater finish, but you can just cut it square. So these are the bits. So these haven't been cut completely yet, but you'd have this here, this here. So we've got a nice leg tie as well, like that. These will be trimmed. And then this part will be sewn like this that's sewn onto there this ring would be inside there like that this is then sewn on to make a belt loop and then this is the clasp that goes over the guard so the first thing we'll do is with this part you can either stick it just how it is like that but it'll be a little bit thick I'm going to take a knife and see if I can shave off a little bit I'll show you um, not sure how well this will show you. but do a line For about as much as yeah, like that'll do. And then we're going to taper that off, if possible. Fold this over. You're going to need a very sharp knife for this. Now, if it doesn't seem to be working, it's not going to matter. But if you can get a little bit of this off, but not too much. It 
see that's thinning it down a bit just means when you stick those two bits together it's not going to be quite as thick because it doesn't need to be as thick as it is all right put your ring in now you're going to want to glue this together so it's like this so the best way to do this for me anyway a bit of super glue and then put it in a vise or basically anything that will clamp it Have that like that. Take that, place it in a vise, clamp that up nice and tight, let that dry. And this part now needs to be sewn onto here. So you can have it about there. So it's actually in the gap here and here are the same. So what we'll be doing now is gluing it, putting it on, making the holes either with a drill or an awl or whatever you want and sewing it on. So let that dry and then we can start making the holes to stitch that bit on. Oh, we may do a little slit on the back, I'll show you that in a second. We're going to do the holes now to sew this part on. Now I'm just going to do a line of stitching for mine. So get about in the middle for it. The straighter the line uh, and the straighter you do the holes the better it will look afterwards. So that will be where the stitching is. First thing we're going to do is do the holes. Now for this bit I'll attempt to do it with an awl to show you. But for the rest of the stitching around here, I may use a drill. So you need a hammer and an awl. This is the way I do it. It's not the way a professional um, sheath maker or whatever, you know, saddle maker would do this. But this is a nice, easy way that anyone can do it. So make sure your line's nice and straight. Actually, that looks slightly wonky to me. But it doesn't matter anyway. With the line is straight a bit of chopping board's good for this don't use soft wood because what will happen is every time you hammer through the awl will get stuck in the thing underneath and then you've got to pull it out of the lever and out of that this chopping board's quite hard to actually hammer into so it won't get stuck in it quite so easily but yeah that's just a case of putting your when you want it hammer through Take it out, move along as far as you're happy to do the stitches. I do mine quite big. So on the inside where your holes are now, we want to cut a little channel out. Now with this uh, good lever, this isn't going to be easy. But um, if you've got a sharp knife, just be careful what you're doing cut a little channel out so when I've got a little bit out I'll show you oh, there you go so keep doing that until you've got a little channel like that all the way along for the stitching to sit into and then we'll start stitching that part on right so it's time to so this bit now you can see the channel what I did in the end I, I cut it out with the knife and then I used some sandpaper so now it's time to sew this bit on um, I'd probably recommend because you don't want any lumps on the inside for the knife to catch so we'll probably start from the outside in the thread I use I have no idea what it is but it's really thick stuff a lot thicker than any sewing thread but I don't know what it is 
Oh, it's a big needle with a big eye. And then I just double it over and have it like that. Again, these are my own techniques. These aren't the right way. So before you do that, rub, get rid of the, any of the um, pencil marks. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to start outside in and then we'll tie it off on the outside and glue it. But it will mean that the inside will be slightly better. You don't normally have the inside looking better, but you don't want anything there for the knife to catch. So for the first part, I'll just go in and out a couple of times on that first one, just for, to strengthen that end. Like so. And you just go in and out basically. And then when you get to the end, you go in a couple of times. So as you get to the end again, do that end two or three times stitching through to strengthen that end. Like that. And then you go back and then what happens is as you go back you fill in the bits that you missed basically. And you can see that stitching is nicely uh, under, so you're not going to have any issues with the knife catching any of that. So then just come back through one last time, tie that off, and then I like to put a tiny little bit of super glue on the knot. What you want to do now is take these two bits, make sure they're the right length, and we're going to stick those on now. So that'll be there, that one will be there. Also, make sure that the thickness is the right. Uh, make sure these are the right thickness, so that when your knife goes in, it will fit. Because obviously, the the front of the blade is slightly wider than the back, so this opening needs to accommodate that. So again, now it'll just be gluing, clamping. So before we go any further and stick this top bit on, you're going to want to mark where the clasp is going to go. You know, the poppers. So fold your bit over that will be for the clasp. Mark that around. Work out about, you know, in the middle. We're then going to punch a hole and put one of these poppers in. I think I'll use the deep sort of brass looking ones again today. All through basically. So place this over. This one on top of that. Take this tool, put it on, hammer it down. This works slightly better if you have it on a um, harder surface. But that is on now. I'm going to glue the rest of the sheath together and then we'll come back and then I may do this bit. <clears throat> right, I'm going to do my holes now. I'm going to do mine with a drill, just drilling along exactly like I did with the awl. But, uh, yeah, it's just with a drill, so it's slightly quicker and easier, and I can seem to get a better, better inline hole this way.
right stitching time now so I've done the holes I'm going to start from the back here go in and out a couple of times so down to this point here and then come back and then end here by going through and then this side I'll do that one on its own it's too much to sort of do it all in one yeah there you go so a little knot has created just there so just pull it out try and get those two bits level and it'll go again so now you just want to stitch all the way along and then back again sheath is all sewn up now that should be ready to go what you want to do now is get your poppers you want the end bit for this one this time so fold it over to where it's supposed to be press it down onto it so it makes a little mark on the lever another thing you can do if you can't see the mark put a bit of pencil on there then do it and it will transfer onto there that needs punching out and the eyelets and it's just the same if you buy these kits it will it'll tell you how to do it you literally punch it out put the bits on stamp them together so the next thing we'll, we'll be doing is finishing off the edges of the lever but yeah these bits are easy and it will be in the instructions to the, to the stuff anyway right you've essentially got a good working sheath now so all we need to do now is sew the belt loop which will literally just be on like that and I'm just gonna sew mine through like that so that it will sit in like that for the belt loop you can make that bigger or you can make that bigger or you know or whatever you like <clears throat> and you can sew it anywhere you like so that i will have to sew but again you know you don't really need to watch that bit now we need to do the edge so to do the edge you basically need to keep sanding this edge until it's all flat there's no lumps and bumps and just keep going through the different sandpapers going to the higher grit make sure you get the edges as well because they'll start to roll over but just keep sanding and sanding and sanding until they're nice and smooth and then we'll burnish it with a piece of wood and a little bit of water so I'm going to carry on sanding these now all the edges ready for burnishing with a piece of wood and now we're going to burnish the edge what you normally do with this you wet the edge so I'm just getting a bit of water from a container behind the camera wet the edge and then you just rub over the edge with a piece of wood and it compresses down the sort of fibres of the leather so just keep doing that till you've gone over all the edges and then we're virtually done but if you look I don't know how well your bits here but it looks better already so just carry on doing that all the way around and that's pretty much done right there you go then there's your sheath for your bowie knife so at this point it is finished but if you want to you can stain it any colour you want I've got some brown um, dye coming soon but this is a finished sheath for your knife so now you've got a nice fully working knife to go right so what I'll do next then this is the end for the video for me because the dye won't be coming till later so I'll um, dye this at a later date and add some pictures of it finished. But yeah, there it is. Only takes a couple of hours and you can get a sheath to your own liking, to your own design. Um, cheaper and better than you could buy really. 
But yeah, there you go. That's how you do your bowie shoes. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you. Don't forget to view the uh, pictures. See you later.